It's Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. <clears throat> Today I'm going to get right to the point. Um, I'm at work and I come out here on my lunch break and what I've been reading and hearing, uh, it's, it's really got me uh, upset. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Disney and how this relates to prayer for our nation. So a few months ago, Disney went through, um, you know, uh, some sort of restructuring or whatever you want to call it. It's their lame attempt at covering up all the uh, corruption and the pedophilia that's been coming out. So, uh, they lost a lot of people, a lot of, you know, we drop Disney. We have grandchildren uh, that watch Disney at our home. We canceled Disney several months ago, quite a while back. And I heard that, you know, through their, uh, you know, their stocks and stuff, they've lost a significant, you know, like up to 50% and they're really struggling. So now what they have done is they're coming after your children. Not just my grandchildren, but your children and your grandchildren. And it's our duty as warriors for Christ that we spread this word, we get it out, and we do something about it. You know, you can't just sit at home and say, I can't do anything about this. I'm not in Congress. I'm not uh, in politics. I don't hold a position of power or any of that. That's a lame excuse. Uh, we are children of the Most High God. We have authority uh, over our households and our children and our neighborhoods that we live in. So Disney, since losing that much money, uh, they've dug in their heels. They've doubled down. And now they've produced a movie, and it's just been released on Disney Channel, and it's called Little Demon. And what it is, is it stars Danny DeVito as Satan, and Lucy DeVito, I, I don't know if it's his daughter or um, it's a relative, obviously, um, as the witch. And the whole premise of the story is Satan marries a witch and they have a child together and name it Antichrist. Well, right there is just a big one up to God. Uh, for lack of a better term, it's just a finger to God. And I, I pity them. I truly pity them. Uh, this is just another means of trying to desensitize people about Satan and his works. So it is important. It's, it's showing witchcraft. It's showing, you know, a lot of shows have that, those things in them. And it's our duty to spot those things. But when you put it in a child's format for children to watch innocent children... You know, three, four, and five-year-old children watch Disney. It's their favorite. Uh, they love all the little, the older Disney shows and things like that. So it's our duty and our responsibility as parents, grandparents, great-grandparents that have the little ones in our homes, and we have that Disney channel. I would say shut it off. Turn them off. Don't pay them money to to put out this kind of programming and not, you know, not to mention all the pedophilia that goes along with Disney. God is exposing all of this stuff. So, uh, also another thing I want to bring up is, um, what is currently going through, uh, the Senate and the Congress is, um, Fake 46 has, uh, proposed a term and it's already made it through one part and it's, they're waiting for to get the finality of it. Um, uh, the decision on this, and that is to um, pass a, a law where states can no longer recognize marriage between a husband and a wife. Uh, so what that is, is no, it's not turning it back over to the states like abortion did, but what this does is uh, individual states can say, if one person believes in marrying six or eight women, it'll be legal to do that. And they won't recognize marriage as between a man and a woman. One man, one woman. So this opens up a whole nother uh, can of worms. You know, they're coming at us with guns blazing, if, for lack of a better term. Um, maybe not physically, but for now, spiritually. And I just, uh, you know, I, I'm hard pressed. These last few days have been very heavy, very weighty. Uh, spiritually, I can feel a complete intense battle 
uh, against our children. They're coming for the children. They want the children because Rosh Hashanah is coming up. And I know a lot of people don't really understand what the high holy days are, the Jewish uh, you know, the Jewish calendar, those are God's days, not just Jewish people days. And whether you want to learn about them or not, or whether you know about them currently or want to participate or don't want to, but well, the thing is, is when we go to heaven, we will be participating in those times. And when it's a thousand years of peace on earth during the thousand year millennial reign, we will be participating in those feast days wherever we're at in the world we will be required to do those if we've made it to heaven so you know you can either learn about them now or you're going to participate in them later but they're very interesting so with rosh hashanah coming up the high holy days the days of all uh the first day of fall is the 22nd something huge is like i just feel it in my spirit something huge is coming i don't know what it is but i do know god's going to intervene on all this wicked and evil agendas coming against us but as we're here you know yesterday in my video i said we're coming to the end of what we can do and god's got it from here i don't mean to misinterpret that like you don't have anything else left to do because that's not what i intended for that to sound like or what it intended what i intended for it to mean uh, what I meant by that was we've done the requirements that God has asked us to do individually and dedicating our land back to him, uh, the repentance, the communion, um, dedicating our seven mountains, which is, you know, uh, government, schools, churches, leadership, um, arts and entertainment, things of that nature, Congress. Uh, to the presidency, things of that nature. So, you know, we have to man up. I, I don't know what other term to say, but you need to warrior up and man up. And if you want your children to be safe in this country, if you want your children to have freedom, if you want your children to be able to have a childhood and not be in a communist country, then you need to man up. You need to put on the armor of God God has given us authority. He says, I have given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. And that doesn't mean go get a snake and, and hold it and step on it. That is not what it is. That is spiritually speaking. Those things represent principalities and powers. We have authority over those things. We have authority over Disney coming into our household. We have authority over our neighborhoods. We have authority over anything that tries to control us. So it is our duty and our obligation to fight for the freedoms of our children and our grandchildren, the little ones that do not know. And we need to be speaking to them about what's going on, about what they can do as well, because they have authority as well, as long as they're saved. And if you think you're getting through the end of this without the Holy Spirit, you're not going to make it. You have to have the Holy Spirit. You have to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit because he speaks to you. He will show you what to do, where to go. He will lead you and guide you in all truth and all righteousness. So it is imperative that you go before the Lord and repent and ask the Holy Spirit, please baptize me in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And you know, you have to accept that by faith. Just like you accepted your salvation by faith, it is a faith, faith believing that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So for my nation today, the, uh, for America, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, Lord, and I pray that the words that I have spoken, Father God, number one, was spoken in truth, it was spoken in humility, and it is spoken, Father God, out of authority over what I allow to come into my household and what I want my children and my grandchildren to hear and learn about. Father God, in Jesus' name, as we guard what we allow to come into our eye gate and our ear gate, Father God, I pray that you protect my heart with the shield of faith, Father God. The shield of faith is a frontal shield that covers your front side, your heart. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that people put on their full armor, Father God, that they warrior up and we take back this nation, Father God, that you would get all the glory, 
all the honor and all the praise from this in Jesus' holy, mighty name. Amen. So for now, I pray in Jesus' name, if you have Disney in your home, that you cancel it. Outright cancel it. Don't give them any more money to put forth this wicked, evil filth. And until tomorrow, when God gives me whatever I'm supposed to speak about tomorrow, because I do not know. I didn't know today what I was going to get until it was given to me. So until tomorrow, I get the next word of what tomorrow's prayer is. Um, I pray that you go before the Lord, you repent, ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and ask him, Lord, what do you want me to do? This is what he has given me to do for 30 days straight. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to see it through to the end. I'm not a quitter. He didn't create you to quit. You were born for such a time as this. You have a purpose and anointing to be here in this time, in this season, for a reason. A specific reason that nobody else can do. But if you will not do it, he will raise up another to do what he asked you to do. But he will hold you accountable. So be blessed today and have hope that God will show up during this season of Rosh Hashanah. Be blessed today.